Ladies and gentlemen, it's Brian Ingram back here with your eighth newest Ingram Wrestling News video today. So, I got news on two former WWE superstars set to testify against the company in Saudi Arabia lawsuit. So, my sources of Ringside News put this out eight hours ago, and I'm putting this out for you all. So, reads, reads the following. WWE has a class action lawsuit against them that... They were unable to get thrown out. Now they are looking at the possibility that this could go the distance in court. It is alleged that the company hid information from investors, which they needed to know. This information could have negatively impacted stock prices as it pertained to WWE's deal in Saudi Arabia. During a Facebook live stream, Hugo 7 Sevenovich stated that two former WWE superstars will appear in court to testify in the case against the company. One former superstar was employed from 2012 to April 20th. Well, no, actually, one former superstar was employed from 2012 to April 2020. Excuse me. This superstar alleges that they were in a hostage situation. Savinovich had the following to say when he heard the news of Dodo's attempts to get the case thrown out. So this is what he said. He said, There is something much deeper that I am not going to touch right now. But what the Dodo lawyer had said that that lawsuit was going to fall. The judge has said no. This continues. So this case where the Dodo lawyer tried to ruin my reputation actually backfired on him. The lawsuit will have to go on. We will see. I am also being informed. There are possibly two more wrestlers who participated in that event, Crown Jewel 2019, who would be willing to testify against Dodo E. I can assure you it yet. But two wrestlers who would be willing to say publicly what happened in Saudi Arabia. So that's what that's what uh Hugo Sevenovich said. So Dirty Attorney Jerry McDevitt has already spoken out against the allegations. He stated that story is fake and he blamed bad journalism from the narrative getting out in the first place. A judge obviously agreed that more of this story should be heard in court. So if you have any questions about that, comment down in the section below. I will have the link to this so y'all can check check it out. The news that Ringside News put out. So that is it. So to my next one is going to be my ninth Inga Rossi News video. And it's actually going to be news on Adam Cole having ridiculous betting odds to beat Pat McAfee at WWE NXT TakeOver XXX. So that's coming up next. And after that one, I'm going to have another Inga Rossi News video to do. I'm going to have news on WWE SmackDown viewership rising this week as well, which I knew, which I already knew it was going to rise. But I'm going to do a video on that one too. So, coming up next, I'm going to have news on Adam Cole having ridiculous betting odds to beat Pat McAfee at WWE NXT TakeOver XXX. That's coming up next right here on my YouTube channel. See you on the next video, folks.